Imagine a star so powerful and massive that its death can outshine the moon and turn night into day. This is not a science fiction scenario, it could happen in our lives. It is a world event so large that it casts a shadow over the earth even in the middle of the day. The event comes from a star you've probably seen but never thought about, Betelgeuse, a red giant in the Orion constellation. But when will this happen? Could this be happening as we speak? What clues will scientists find about this star's unusual behavior, and what secrets will this explosion reveal about the universe, including our place in it? Let's take a deep dive into what Betelgeuse is all about and how it affects Earth and our entire solar system. Betelgeuse is 650 light-years away from Earth and is in the famous Orion constellation. It's not just a star. It is a red giant, one of the most massive types of stars we know. Betelgeuse is very bright, more than 100,000 times brighter than our Sun, but that's not special. Betelgeuse has been a treasure of human culture for centuries. The name comes from the Arabic word, Yad al jaza meaning, the hand of the Almighty. In the past, it attracted travelers and astronomers with its red glow, a reminder of impending doom. Now the importance of the past is beyond. His erratic and erratic behavior has put astronomers all over the world on alert. About 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is much smaller than our Sun and has been burning for 4.6 billion years. But when it's young, Betelgeuse's massive size means it burns through its fuel quickly. Now that the end of the world is near, the world is about to see the big end, a supernova explosion. When this happens, energy and brightness will appear, possibly brighter than anything we've seen before, the last time Papa saw such an event was in 1604, when Kepler's supernova lit up the sky, visible during the day. These flares are rare, but when they do occur, they can be very insightful into the life cycle of stars. Between October 2019 and early 2023, Betelgeuse will be very dark, causing speculation and concern among astronomers. This unprecedented dip in brightness has everyone asking, what is happening to Betelgeuse? During dimming, Betelgeuse will return to its original brightness by April 2023, but will be more than 50% brighter in the following months. This wild swing isn't something astronomers have seen since Betelgeuse, which has many wondering, could we be approaching one of the most dramatic planetary events known to man? Could it be a supernova? As scientists try to explain what happened, the mystery deepens. Is Betelgeuse preparing for its own explosive death? or is something else going under fire? Why the sudden change in brightness? Why did Betelgeuse, a familiar star in our night sky, suddenly throw this celestial ball at us? The truth is that the stars are not fixed. They are dynamic people with their own life cycle, work and secrets. For most stars, periodic changes in brightness can be predicted, much like the seasons on Earth. Betelgeuse has a 400-day brightness cycle that has been observed by astronomers for decades. But the Great Depression that began in 2019 was a departure from the norm. The star's behavior is unpredictable and challenges our understanding of these celestial giants. Now you may be asking yourself, what would make such a big change? The answer lies in a fascinating concept that emerged from this unexpected event. One powerful theory that scientists are turning to is the idea of interstellar mass transfer. Imagine that Betelgeuse was a giant volcano that suddenly erupted, shaking a lot of material into space. In fact, observations from the Hubble Space Telescope have shown that Betelgeuse has already shed a large portion of its surface material. This is not a random outage. The event is 400 billion times more massive than what we see in solar terms, and the amount of material released is many times the mass of our moon. This massive ejection created a thick cloud of dust around the star, affecting its brightness and making it difficult for astronomers to see. When this dust cloud began to disperse, or was pushed away by the radiation pressure of the star itself, the break lifted and Betelgeuse's brightness subsided. This might explain why it was dark and bright. All of this leads to one burning question, is Betelgeuse nearing an explosive end? Although no one can say for sure, many scientists believe that we may be witnessing the final stages of Betelgeuse's life. 
A supernova occurs when a star suddenly explodes in its core, for example, when it runs out of nuclear fuel. As for Betelgeuse, it is approaching this point, and when it does, its large size and irregular shape will lead to a catastrophic collapse. This collapse creates a massive recoil effect that produces a supernova of unimaginable power. Early in its life, Betelgeuse burned the hydrogen in its core, turning it into helium. This stage is known as the main phase of the star's life, which can last for millions of years. Without hydrogen, stars begin to burn helium to make carbon and oxygen. This space causes stars like Betelgeuse to turn into red stars. As Betelgeuse's helium reserves are exhausted, it continues to expand and enter new fiery phases, characterized by the introduction of heavy elements such as neon, magnesium, and silicon. Finally, it starts producing iron in its core, and then things go bad. Unlike the lighter elements, iron does not release energy when it melts, so the star's core collapses under its own massive weight. This explosion, followed by a massive earthquake, produced a supernova. Although Betelgeuse's unusual appearance has led to speculation that a supernova is imminent, the truth is that we don't know for sure. Recent research from Japan's Tohoku University suggests that Betelgeuse is currently in its carbon burning phase, and that its core may collapse within decades after the carbon runs out. However, other studies, such as those from Hungary's Konkali Observatory, suggest that Betelgeuse is still beginning to burn helium. What scientists agree on is that Betelgeuse is the next supernova in the Milky Way. But the timing is a mystery, estimates vary from decades to 100,000 years. When we think about the fate of Betelgeuse, there is a strange phenomenon that we often forget when looking at the night sky. The moon we see today from Betelgeuse was 650 years ago. This is because it takes 650 years for the moon to travel from the star to the Earth. This means that when you look at Betelgeuse, you are looking back in time, a moment from the distant history of a star. For context, when the moon we see today left Betelgeuse, the Renaissance was just beginning on Earth, and explorers like Marco Polo were making their mark on history. Dot here's the interesting part, if Betelgeuse had already exploded in a supernova 649 years ago, we won't know about it until a year later. The eruption may have passed and is just waiting for the light to come to us. This space waiting game adds another layer of suspense to the whole situation. Every time we look at Betelgeuse, we see its past, but every time we are close to seeing its future, the explosive death of the star that fascinated the people for thousands of years. In 2023, another supernova hit the headlines in a nearby galaxy, SN 2023X, millions of light years away, this supernova is a spectacular display of cosmic power. Shorter than the light of the entire host galaxy what to do. SN what makes 2023X so interesting to scientists and astronomers is its resemblance to the supernova Betelgeuse. The intensity of the explosion, the whirlwind of light and its aftermath are tantalizing clues about what will happen when Betelgeuse explodes. Although Betelgeuse is closer to Earth than SN 2023X, a comparison between the two events will help scientists understand the dynamics and unpredictability of supernovae. Betelgeuse explodes, one of the most spectacular events in human history. For weeks, if not clear, this supernova may be visible in broad daylight. At night, he can cast a shadow over the Earth, however, despite its cosmic brightness and proximity, Betelgeuse is so far away that its eruption poses no threat to life on Earth. Scientists say that the explosion was high in energy, but mostly in the form of visible light and negative neutrinos. The real danger from a supernova lies in its gamma rays, but fortunately, Betelgeuse is too far from us to cause significant damage to our planet's atmosphere. Beyond the visual spectacle, Betelgeuse's supernova will offer an unprecedented opportunity for astronomers to study the death throes of a star in real time. Using tools like the James Webb Space Telescope and Earth-based observatories, scientists will be able to capture invaluable data on the supernova's shockwaves, chemical composition, and the mysterious formation of neutron stars or black holes. Betelgeuse's explosion could also provide insights into the origins of the heavier elements that are essential for life, 
such as iron and gold, which are forged in the intense heat of these stellar explosions. In this way, Betelgeuse's death will not only illuminate the skies but also deepen our understanding of the universe and our own cosmic origins.